hello, D-Class. Uh, this game released today, and I'm extremely excited, and I feel like I'm a kid in a candy store with this game. Because I... Some of us were here for the, the demo, and the demo was completely amazing. Like, it actually scared the shit out of me. This is supposed to be a horror game. I'm eating freezer burnt chicken nuggets. I'm running from a grill that is trying to eat me alive. I feel like those two are connected. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, probably. <laughs> wait, are you? Hey, wait, back up. Pen penguin. Wait, that's right. Penguin is a bird, but who eats penguins? That seems mean. <laughs> You aren't a chicken, you're a penguin. Please do not eat penguins. I don't think it's legal or ethical because I, I think like a lot of penguins are endangered. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm certain there's a large amount of endangered penguin species. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Please I'm... do not eat penguin nuggets. Yeah. I feel but... like. Yeah. They're very, they, I feel like they would be very fatty. But as you can tell, I'm here with my friends yeah. uh, Hatchet, my butt buddy, Dr. Rattler, and a child. Yeah, seriously, come to think of it, penguin nuggets would probably be really fucking tasty. What but the they're fuck? also be <laughs> They probably would. Like they're it's it's a fatty meat and fat tends to be perceived as tasty to humans. Hey, uh yeah, bookworm, can you clip that? They look they look fatty, but in reality there's like just meat and fur. Not fur. Feathers. The hell is what wrong with ones have you seen? Yeah, like they they live in really cold temperatures, so they have a pretty thick layer of fat. Okay, can uh Bookworm, can you clip the how Hatchet wanted to eat penguin meat? I'm saying uh... they would probably be tasty. I'm not saying I want to or I think it would be ethical. Actually, that reminds me, I was looking up um like what penguins eat. And for some reason, it decided to show me recipes on how to cook penguins. And I have what? never been more upset in my life after one I guess one people search. already cook penguin meat. Yeah, and that has to do this. Yum, yum. Yeah. Well, I mean, there. I'm sure there's some penguin species that aren't endangered. But yeah. None that there I, there know of. You I know of. Yeah, the like... one in the zoo. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Right, you're not... <laughs> what? That doesn't. Bright, go sit. You know... Pandas are in zoos too, but they're endangered. Or anyway. no, pandas aren't Actually, endangered anymore. I don't think anymore. penguins. Uh, oh, not penguins. Not? Pandas are endangered anymore. Yeah, the Chinese government heard, "Hey, a really iconic animal of ours is going endangered." They then waited like two decades, but then get, went really hard on conservation, and uh. Pandas have now been put like a step back and threatened. Like instead of endangered, they're like at risk. So, Something along those lines. Anyway, are we actually ready to start there's the game now? Less endangered. And stop talking about animals. <laughs> no, no. That's that's still endangered, Hatchet. That's just less endangered. No, like these are different classifications. Uh, endangered you mean is. Threatened. Yeah. Yeah, like endangered is there is a like. A certain threshold below, below that threshold, an animal is endangered. Above that threshold, it's a different classification, and on and on and on. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's actually start with the game and a, a species oh, can be threatened, but not endangered. Yeah. But anyway. Right there. Yeah. Let's start with the game and stop talking about uh, penguin meat and pandas. All right. You know, in the Splatoon universe, uh, humans no. are fucking dead. Us, what? child. We the all knew that. that this game is in. Yeah, anyway. Let's start the game. Oh. I am Carl. Carl Astana. I'm assuming that's how you say your last name. A few months ago, I was preparing the search in, at, in a restaurant on L Street. The pies were rather to my liking. It became startling to the man sitting across from me, Sunny shout out. Fast here, total shit. Oh. Well, I can't read that fast. After seeing that they're only empty. Tails are shot, I said to the man. Oh, I get to choose. I get to choose. Yippee. Excuse me, I don't I'm... believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? 
Look, the seat's occupied. Find yourself another table, all right? <laughs> okay, are you being a dick or are you being polite? Also, I simply have to acknowledge the fact that the first line of this game is, I'm Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Carl. Hey, Bright. Hey, hey, Bright, do you want a croissant? No. Carl, that kills people, Carl. Anyway, I I'm choosing the second one because I am a dick. Just like Carl. I would probably choose that one too because I don't want yeah. to share my pie with other people. Alright, it's my question, man. Continue talking to us while you're lucky or you are. You're graduating soon and clearly need a job, huh? Well, it seems like I have signed a job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful one. That sounds sketchy as hell. <laughs> Is this laughing? This sounds like laughing. My job for you is not a job, it is a cult. You take care of many llamas with this silly little SCP hats. Universe. That is... This is the SCP <laughs> universe, so technically it could either be an organization or a cult. Well, welcome or both. To the... <laughs> the mix of both. <laughs> Would you like to take a new job opportunity? It's called Cult, also known as Capitalist. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Thank you, I have no interest in your proposal. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. I'll do that one. The Just... illusion of choice. <laughs> Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black, with three letters printed neatly on one side. SCP. That's it, that's all you get. It's just the, the here's, word, here is word your is... job. <laughs> Here is your job. Take this card. Goodbye. Never see this person again. You just talk to a drugged up hippie. Yeah. Uh, Karen says, how are y'all? Uh, I'm good. How about you? Pretty good. Consuming nuggets. Right. Contemplating e eating the child, apparently, now. <laughs> no, no, please. I'm just glad that your character was hit up by the SCP Foundation and not like a literal cult or anything. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was actually surprised I had to do reading. <laughs> Sarkic cult just walks up to you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> no, no, no. They were already hit up by the SCP Foundation. They're cult free. <laughs> anyway. But are they really? Are they really? <laughs> but the SCP Foundation, are they really? Yeah. No. Yes. Yeah. No. They arrest cults, they deal with cults sometimes, but they are not a cult. Just because they arrest cults doesn't mean that they themselves don't have cults under their supervision. Counter argument. The, counter argument. The Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> Nobody ever suspects the Spanish Inquisition. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna click SCP. Oh no. L plus oh, no. ratio. There's an address. <laughs> Fuck. Carl. I'm not, is, that, is Astana how you actually say that last name? I guess. Duh. Yeah, I guess. Carl. Okay, Hatchet, Carl what is the context stuff. to your name? Oh. What name do I have right now? Wait. Uh, Robert is a good lad. Not oh, Robert, yeah. Robert. Uh, um, in this game is gendered or non-gendered. Yeah, anyway. But, uh, well, real quick. Context to my name is over at uh, twitch.com or twitch.tv slash oh. Oh shit, I, actually, I, was trying, I was trying to disable the fucking chat box because it was getting in the way of the writing. Fuck. Damn it. Since the beginning of civilization, the world what? has been full of unknown things. Oh, holy Today, shit. This looks good already. The of that looks 33! My number! However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, it's SCP-055! Wait, what was that again? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, hi there. 
a giant teddy bear? Yeah. I want to, I want to say something, but it would be spoilers for the Splatoon 3 hero mode. Oh, we're talking about this SCP game at this moment. Yeah. Oh, hello. Oh, Hi there. What the fuck? Oh, well, you're supposed to say what the fuck. It's the SCP Foundation. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, yeah, I have nothing. Or just what the fuck? I'm making tacos. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's actually a third motto the SCP Foundation has, and I I learned an SCP video, which was, uh, be cold, not cruel. A lot of doctors don't follow that rule. <laughs> counter, counter argument. Cleft. <laughs> counter argument. Literally a good like half of the like doctors and shit in the SCP Foundation that take their anger out you on. Also sleep yeah. with the god though and have a kid. But yeah, to uh, to clarify, my uh, the reason why my name is what it is is over at uh, um, MUI two or uh, Twitch Twitch TV slash MUI underscore Chu whatever it is. Uh, over there, Chu has been streaming Splatoon three, and mm -hmm. we collectively decided to name the little salmonid that follows you around in the story mode. Robert, as right. a pun. Anyway, that is amazing. I need, I need, I need to watch Pika's uh, Splatoon streams. Yeah. Anyway, uh, on to the mission statement: operating clandestine and worldwide, the Foundation operates beyond jurisdiction, empowered and entrusted by every major national government, with the task of containing anomalous objects, entities, and phenomena. These anomalies pose a significant threat to global security by threatening either physical or psychological harm. The Foundation operates to maintain normancy so that the worldwide civilian population can live and go on with their daily lives without fear, mistrust, or doubt in their personal beliefs, and to maintain human independence from extraterrestrial, extra-dimensional, and other extra-normal uh, influence. That actually just... Oh. Never mind. What? Wait. What were you saying, Hatchet? It's it's a it's a touch off topic, so go ahead. Oh yeah. Alright, with the secure the foundation secures anomalies with the goal of preventing them from falling into the hands of civilian or rival agencies, though extensive observation and surveillance, and by acting to intercept such anomalies at the earliest opportunity. And that's the last bit of reading. Okay. Thing I was gonna say is, I wonder what you would actually come to if you put the SCP Foundation through the bite model, or like see whether or not it could be classified as a cult. Mm -hmm. Right. That's a good question. I Appar feel like it's depending. Oh, oh, sorry. Apparently, it's Friday at nine p.m. Or is that a G? <laughs> right. Why would they? Why would they say GPM? <laughs> it looks like a G. That's also how certain nines look. That's how the nine <laughs> on my keyboard looks. Mine looks different. Wait, hold, hold on, hold on. When I, when I, before I entered through the doors, there was a scientist sitting right there at the gate. They're gone. Wait, was there? I yeah, there was. That. Where the fuck did you go? Oh, I don't have a card. Oh. <laughs> Good job, right? Enter room 914. Isn't that the clockwork machine? Either that or it's just an office. That's also a possibility. <laughs> it might just be like the numberings of the offices. <laughs> right. Also, this place, it just already looks amazing. Yeah, it, it. I'm glad I, I. I. I don't care that I spent like. 
uh, fifteen dollars on this, I think. Why do I feel like Bright's just gonna be fangirling the entire stream? I'm sorry. This no, I'm not complaining. Amazing. I'm not complaining. That's not supposed to be mean. <laughs> this is my office. I think I have a hoarding problem. I'm no. pretty positive it's okay to fangirl about a game you're in the middle of playing. Also, that's not supposed to be a mean thing. I'm not trying to be mean. Also, motherfucker, are you saying that a library is hoarding? Because those are just <laughs> books. Those are just books and files. What do you mean? I see an e I see an Easter egg. Look, the toaster right there it says "I'm." Get it? Oh, Get it? Oh, what <laughs> What's the reference? You don't want to know. It's an SCP. It. I'm a toaster, and I like to toast bread. It's a dangerous SCP that is contained that is a toaster. And you can only Look. refer to it in the first per person. Look. Yep. Look. And uh, the fact is, even if it's locked up, it uh, anyone near it too long will start believing it is, they are a toaster. They will yeah. do various activities, some of which cannot be described here. Hey, toaster they bath. They do things that they think will make them happy toasters, but make them unhappy and unalive people. Toaster bath. Toaster bath. <gasps> toaster bath. Wait, hatchet. Not toaster I... bath. Hey, hatchet. I see one of your favorite SCPs. Look, it's the astronaut. Oh, <laughs> the moon champion. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's actually get to, to swiping my card. What does this game take place? Why are you use, why are you using like a Windows ninety five? I don't know. Look, the SCP Foundation office had to take a few budget cuts because some motherfucker kept breaking into uh, the Plague Doctor's uh, SCP containment cell. Right. Okay, well, let's be fair. Nobody would ever break in there that has any sort of brain. Also, uh, okay, so. People on TikTok? <laughs> oh god. Oh, also, this... also, if you look at and this, and a lot of I'm... them find the plague doctor hot. So anyway, dear God, just <laughs> just quiet. move on. Try and quiet. <laughs> anyway, 1984, the child. No. S speaking of 1980 thing, look at me. I'm old as shit. <laughs> I mean, you're not too old. You're what is that, Gen hey, X? What? Nineteen eighty six, you shit. <laughs> my birth giver was born in nineteen eighty two, I think, if I remember correctly. My my mom was born in nineteen fifty two. Oh no, nineteen fifty eight. Nineteen fifty eight. All right, let's see. Next. Oh, that's old. Oh. That's because you are. You have old. Oh. I mean, I mean, you kind of are. Anyway, uh, I, I think that's millennial. No. Anyway. You will have access to classified top secret archives. Please confirm that you are aware of all confidentiality clauses and agree to swear by and strictly adhere to all SCP Foundation regulations and guidelines. Got it. I agree. If I spill anything, I die. <laughs> Don't mix the wrong chemicals. Wait, holy shit. I get to go to different sites. I can look at different sites. Shit. I am already loving this. Friends, Welcome. why does the SCP Foundation have its own version of Facebook? <laughs> Welcome to the SCP Foundation for starting your work. Please allow us to introduce you to the software used in archive department. Stat status, status report. Me and me and Greg just started dating. Status report. Greg just got eaten. Fuck. <laughs> status report. I am being sacrificed to this weird noodle pasta thing. Status report, I am dead. Status report, I am meeting with Ronald Reagan in hell. Status report. Oh. Status report, I am beating the living fuck out of Ronald Reagan in hell. Status report, currently pissing on Margaret Thatcher. Okay. <laughs> no, wait, no, no. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. Speaking of Ronald, there's mm -hmm. actually an SCP where it's, where... Ronald McDonald is an entity, and all McDonald's food is created by it barfing it out. And the uh, and the meat 
and fries and everything is all human. Yeah. I wait. The fries are human. Yep. Every every food and drink is human. I don't like that. <laughs> insert, insert problematic joke about Irish people. Also, okay. also <laughs> the thing is, it sprayed coffee when a Burger King worker went near it. No, that is a valid response. <laughs> that is honestly a valid response. <laughs> anyway. Uh, bro, oh. Uh, you were going to say something? Okay, I had you? something specific. Right. I thought you were going to start talking about, like, the, uh, the Ronald Reagan with cuts. No. <laughs> Whatever it's called. 61 instances of gender reversal were, were recorded. <laughs> What? It was talking Wait, about what? SCP-113. The the gender stone thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're just eight people away from being perfect. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, each day your superior will assign tasks to the mission module. When there is a new task, the button will blink red to remind you. Communication with the site relies primarily on instant messaging system, where information <laughs> is processed using level 2 encryption. Please pay attention to blinking red reminders and view them promptly. Training is an effective means of information sharing within the Foundation. New employees must first participate in new employee training before they begin work. This page shows public information for all sites around the world. You can view the information at any time. This concludes the introduction. We wish you success in your work. That's going to be hard to achieve with, like, two ADHD-riddled people and one jury. Oh my god. One jury that wants to take a bath. <laughs> Stop I typing so fast. Off. I can't read. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Gent Zoe and Stuart. How did the mission go, Jin? Did the information gathering on SP-1299 go smoothly? Was damn close this time. Luckily, I know how to swim. Glad Chuck didn't send me there. I can't stand the feeling of being drenched in water. Ugh. I think I caught Actually, a cold, too. Wait, this reminds me. Okay, so Amazon has this thing where you can communicate with, the uh, like... The game? I'm not talking about Amazon at the moment, Dragon. But it's it's kind of similar like this is a t chatting system. No. <laughs> anyway, good morning all. Good morning, morning. Guess what? Our group's got a new member today. Carl, how about introducing yourself? Uh, I can either do morning hello, everyone. Hiya, friends. Good morning. <laughs> that just screams introvert trying to pass as an extrovert. <laughs> I'm just gonna do morning, why everyone. Why does the sprite just pick that up? Feels like right. No. Introvert trying to pass as extrovert. My name is Carl Astana. Astana, you can call me Carl. Carl. I graduated oh, that from. Kills people. Oh, I graduated from MIT with a double major in biology and, and philosophy. You poor person. Why are you saying you poor person? Because I've taken a philosophy class before, and I hated Wait, it. I well, now love there's... philosophy. You shit. You I... must have had a bad teacher. <laughs> Either that, or like, like, believe it or not, people can be like, like if someone did a double major with one of their majors being philosophy, I'd be willing to guess that they're very into philosophy. Fair. My philosophy in life is Wait. women are very swaggy. Wait, Stuart, what the fuck is that supposed God to be? Damn it, phone broke. Uh, <laughs> Stuart. Let me tell you what it is. That is a happy face with sunglasses. Uh, None of you yeah, know I see it. what tech faces are. It's just been a while since I've seen. Yeah. Except for XD. <laughs> Zoe says, Yeah, Zoe says, welcome. Stuart does a smiley face. 
Shin just says MIT. <laughs> oh, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Why Honestly, is... the fucking name. Wait, archive department? Yeah. Are they British? I I don't know. What? No, none of you motherfuckers don't. Oh, why? Anyway, it seems MIT is not popular Magnus here. Archives. Is it just me, or do I sense a hint of jealousy? <laughs> oh, top one, not the bottom. <laughs> no, 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 it's not like that. Fucking asshole. Not targeting you specifically, pal. It's all these prestigious graduates. Enough gent. The foundation specifically seeks out prestigious graduates, and then the foundation throws them all in archive department. Carl, don't listen to the nonsense coming out of, of his mouth. Hey, you all conveniently forgotten about Jonathan? Everyone forgets about Jonathan. Fuck Who cares about someone named Jonathan? Seemed like this Jonathan left a bad impression on you. You guys watched frickin' Morty last night? <laughs> Wait, was- is this an American-made game? Maybe. I don't know. You prestigious graduates are so full of it, you thinking just being through everywhere with your glowing academic qualifications, you got it coming. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. Was wow, like... Jen is a piece of shit. Yeah. Fuck. Mason? Philosophy major is actually very important if you want to be very good at arguments because uh, one of the parts of philosophy, the basic parts, is learning about false arguments and other things like that. Right. Anyway. Gent is just a jealous jackass. Wait. I just I just see the announcements over here. Rule one: verbal abuse. Of of any form are strictly prohibited. Those who do not abide will be injected with anesthetics. Contact with SP-999 during working hours is strictly prohibited. Document sharing server password 3501. SP-343 visiting hours change to 14 o'clock daily. And that's God, by the way. Anyway, how dangerous could dealing with paperwork possibly be? Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP-247. He was given an S6 sent back home two days ago. Look, Rick clear- Stop talking! Rick clearly knows too much. Shut the fuck up! I really- Shut up! Stop it! I can't read! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that fast of a reader, Chen. Chen, I'm going to kill you. Chen, I will kill you. <laughs> Chuck, I will kill you too. <laughs> Maybe you should wait until they're done talking at each other so you can actually read what the fuck they're saying. You need to. We need to have that entire section clipped with Bright just just threatening to kill her co-workers because they're texting fast. Bright loses her sanity after people communicate. <laughs> Bright Finally. versus Facebook. <laughs> All right. Touch two four seven. He was given. Okay, I write that part. Rick clearly knows too much. I really don't want to recall those details. I can't even eat medium rare steak anymore. I got a reason to suspect he was a former SCP employee. Lol. Hey, Stuart. No one wants to talk about those boring children's cartoons. All right. <laughs> that was just an accident. Accident. Who cares? He was just a prestigious graduate with a higher con consume rate than Class D personnel. Well, fuck you, Gent. In this year's annual report, I am going to replace Archive Department with Relief Station. <laughs> Jesus. Rick and Morty is not a children's cartoon. Gent, I think you scared Carl. 
any of you are planning on getting some serious work done today, then please do me a favor and just shut the hell up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so long as you're here working in an archives department, I'm going to need you to focus on your work. Unlike these people in the logistics department spending their time gossiping all day. Here's Zoe's work. Archives contain missions not completed last time. Some places still need modifications. Got it. Gent, take some time off after you finish up with this project, alright? Don't push yourself too hard. Got it. Yes, I don't get to see Gent for a while after they're done with their work. Stuart, got it, boss. Okay, that's all the Class A archive must be handed in by the end of the day. It's my job, Director. Uh, Ayer? In our case department, we need to review, organize, catalog, and modify all existing containment archives. But no need to hurry, young man. You need to attend a new employee onboarding training first before you begin working at the foundation officially. The system will send you a, a meeting notice. Alright, Dr. Uh, Ayer? I am not sure how to say that last name. <laughs> R. His name is now Dr. R. <laughs> He's a pirate. Alright, according to this video game, people in their 30s are young men. Yeah. How does it feel to be a young man, Jerry? I have a giant hole in my right leg. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good response, what? Jerry. <laughs> I've had it since I was 17. I haven't felt young since I was 17. Anyway, uh, hey, Dr. Uh, not Dr. Hey, Director R. I'm honored to be given a chance to work here at the Archives Department. No response. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, why do I feel like that young... motherfucker's gonna be a gigantic asshole? Young man, this place is not what you think. You must abandon your past self and start again from zero if you hope to learn to survive here. No one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. Understood, Director R. I'm pretty sure if someone told me that, I would want to leave. <laughs> Director R. Why do I feel like a threat? Oh, it most definitely is. The new employee on Barney Training will be hosted by Dr. Ham this time. You will suffer, Carl. <laughs> I suggest you prepare a paper bag for the fun to come. He's just messing with you. Dr. Ham is one of the most knowledgeable containment specialists in the Foundation. Guys, so you still have no idea what, what you will be doing, do you? Now move it. Remember, Carl. Stay nope. sane and always in awe. You, oh. you know, you know, you're, you know you're in a good work environment when you at some point here, you are what what was the exact thing? You are doomed. You will suffer. <laughs> you will suffer. Yeah, you know you're in a good work environment when your coworkers say you will suck. You no 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 no. They're not saying it in a mean tone. They're saying you will suffer. Like like one of those. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you <make> will. <laughs> gonna, gonna, do, gonna do Cindy voice. You will suffer. That sounds like something you would hear when you when you go to. A, work at a fast food restaurant you're going to suffer <laughs> no it's, it's an chat. amazon uh it's an amazon workplace oh yeah anyway time Pog to enter champ. the training system what if, you're, like, in, like, you will suffer what if you're like amazon not yeah why do i feel like amazon would be like a wor a worse working environment than the fucking scp foundation i don't know but anyway amazon oh wait can we actually... Oh, you can't play this video, damn it. The SCP uh -huh. Foundation... Oh, wait. Oh. oh. The SCP Foundation is non-profit. Yeah, they're not a fucking, like, Twitch streamer. God damn. Imagine if the SCP site did make, like, an official Twitch, though. That would be fucking... <laughs> that would be funny as shit. I'm pretty sure they did. Oh, that's so, that's so cool, honestly. Like, but oh. it's like a type of like podcast shit. That would oh. be cool, honestly. Yeah, Jason watch Carter the video, watch is the video. a death row inmate. Oh. Why is it yellow? In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Jason Carter is now D-503.
day one. Wait, am I a D class now? Yeah. What happened to a different person? Oh. This, this looks all. This looks so awesome. I love this. It, it actually looks like I'm playing a different game, which is just really fucking interesting. Like in comparison to earlier, or in comparison to the demo? Uh, in comparison to earlier. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. Um... He must find them out for himself. Um... What the fuck? <laughs> you are in Arizona. Wait, I can drive a car? This isn't gonna end well if I have seen, like, if Bright's GTA streams or anything of note. Oh, God. She's... Yeah, nope, yeah. She cannot drive. Go to the red dot and find out what the fuck they are. <laughs> Collect the random jerry can out in the desert. Hamish patrol can. Petrol can. Oh, petrol patrol can. Patrol can. Patrol can. <laughs> I'm on patrol. Oh yes, I love collecting damaged patrol cans. I have a feeling I'm eventually gonna get like attacked. Are you sure those are called skulls? That is a tire. What are you what are you talking about, child? Skulls can collect weight. I just collected a tire. I'm just collecting car parts because they're too, they're too, they're too, they're too greedy to actually go buy car parts. I think they're just having you collect trash in the desert. Yeah, you're just you're just doing community service, but in the desert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what am I collecting didn't this time? You, didn't you know that the SCP Foundation uh, sometimes has people do community service for the fucking. Uh, uh, camel spiders. <laughs> Damage tin drum. It has a danger sign on it. Well, that's a that's a good thing to pick up. Just pick. I mean, you've got you've got a job to do. You gotta pick it up somehow. It's so weird how shift is the break. That's an uncontrolled scheme. <laughs> but it, I, I'm still loving this game. Let's see what's so you are what playing the B class that that Carl is watching. Yeah. This is the a fuck. Let's see what <laughs> this is. <laughs> Rusted iron pipe. Jesus. And I'm just carrying us back to the car. Why is that? Why is that sitting out here? It's this... been nothing but. Okay, it's been car parts. Uh, it's been a danger sign having can, and now a, a mother a mother oh, fucking giant pipe. Oh, object move to the incinerator. Alright. What the hell is this? <laughs> it's discarded <laughs> roadblock. Why is that out here? <laughs> what is collectibles in Splatoon 3 where it's just random shit randomly everywhere? And you can just shove it in your locker. How is I I just realized I, I I'm carrying too much weight for this car. How is it not ceased function? <laughs> uh, because video game launches. I mean, I would imagine. I, I don't. 
I think that that wouldn't be too heavy for that car. Right. Like, the heaviest thing there would be the iron pipe, and, like, that that's probably not so heavy that it would keep the car from functioning. Alright, so, uh, please pull down a lever to confirm to incinerate. We're incinerating the car! No, you're not incinerating the car, you're just incinerating all the things that are on the car. Why are you burning the big metal pipe? <laughs> 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 no, did you know that the big metal pipe was a war criminal? That's why. <laughs> yeah, this this is actually like this trash. This was D five hundred three's first day of work. This, uh, uh, little did we know this was actually SCP the trash can version of the Nuremberg trials. Now undergo a psychological evaluation. I go under a psychological evaluation for picking up trash. <laughs> How do you feel about all that trash you burned? It reminds me of myself. Please... Oh. Please take the level to a mental t test to access your current mental state. Oh no. This is gonna go well. What off, the right? fuck? You're uh, doing a puzzle, aren't you? Oh, yes. it's not like it's not like checking you for depression or like shit like that. It's just, hey, can you figure out this basic fucking puzzle? I mean are you an we infant? are dealing with right here. <laughs> I fucking hate you. Please demonstrate that you are in fact not a child. Okay, obviously hey! that goes there. I could solve that puzzle. Fuck you. Okay, so Well you're not a child, you're the child. That probably does that go there? Hmm. I think the red thing goes there. Oh, wait. No, no, that Wait, I would there. move. I, yeah, I was gonna say I would move that over. Yeah. And the red and green could probably go all along that side. Yeah. Oh, oh no. wait, wait a minute. <laughs> not. Hmm. Oh wait, like opposite over, like so that the red and green are on the opposite side, and then you can put the magenta thing over there. So like you would have to move all of the pieces over. Ah, uh, sit there. Wait. Oh no, that still doesn't work. Wait. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, big brain. I, <laughs> I did. I got the fourth <laughs> highest time. That's actually surprising. He did have some help. Yeah. Today's work is complete. The system will... Uh... Oh. Oh, food! Consume burger. <laughs> it actually did. I love burger because I am American. Burger like just burger. just tosses the burger on the ground. <laughs> Eat your floor burger brain. Achievement unlocked. Burger. Achievement unlocked. Still delicious. <laughs> Did you enjoy your floor burger? Oh my gosh, this is a shitty bed. This was the, what first the fuck day shit in the bed? I said a shitty in. bed. Not someone's yeah. shit in the bed. Are you <laughs> saying are you saying you that a shitty wondering. made this bed? How can this job? <laughs> You're telling me Caesar from came from India. the grave and made this salad? SCP-7457 Are you saying Good Hawaii everyone. made this pizza? I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Psych oh wait, this is actually a new SCP, SCP-7457 Today, oh, I'm going to share with you a little generation? project I've been working Ooh. on called SCP-7457 Okay, I'm being quiet now, because I want to listen The desert you saw just now? is SCP-7457. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. 
As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Hamp, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena like we are monitoring are being there labeled are anomalies. Are areas. Human that anomalies. Regional anomalies. Artifact anomalies. If he is supposed to be the Dr. Ham, why does he not look like a ham? Control. Hush. The work of the Foundation <laughs> is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Mark Harris, a research intern from Site 27. In a video, we saw D503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why does Mark Why look like he's that? trying to try and out what does this for have a boy to do band? With... <laughs> he looks like he's gonna cry. Okay, Mark. What I can tell you now. <laughs> he, lo is he looks that like I'm on the verge of tears, of and honestly, SCP understandable. <laughs> yeah. SCP anomalies can be a little difficult like, to understand. This is a pretty shit situation at the end. Just mm -hmm. know that it or they have their own rules. Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the video. Okay, let's move on. Oh. Day eight, we just skipped. The first we week skipped was seven days. Normal. However, right. That's there never was an time. interesting occurrence on the eighth day. Can we acknowledge the fact that this D-Class apparently doesn't have a bed? Oh, they Just... do. There's a bed button. It... Oh. It's a bed. It's a bed, but it's a bed. Oh, bed. It's a bed. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot about that. Let's I'm dumb. Look at what happened. Technically, it's a prison bed that's from the 80s, since I think in the 90s they improved, but... Let's right. skip details. Basically, we're about to see what this anomaly is. Other than a bunch of random trash in the desert. Yeah, apparently something happened on day eight. On day eight, the D-Class went out. And he found a discarded, not safe for work object that we can't talk about. <laughs> Damn, someone must have killed a moist critical. <laughs> Corroded iron bucket. I really so hope what? someone gets that reference. It's... Uh, I kind of feel like I get it, but I also don't. Moist critical yeah, has the uh, collection of items. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So the desert randomly oh, oh, um, um, oh, I got yep, issues. GTA. <laughs> I got issues. GTA. I called it. <laughs> I don't even know what happened. I was just going forward. Chuck is still like, well, time to go this way. <laughs> right. You know what? Get off and, and find the trash. Right the is in fact. What the fuck is this? <laughs> printer? Broken air conditioner. <laughs> What the fuck is up with this desert? I don't know, but apparently, uh, over 300 people went missing. Jesus. Oh my god, the people turned into broken appliances. What if that actually is the SCP? That would be fucking hilarious. These people who spent too long out here in the desert uh, just turned into random people. Um... I don't want to get out. What is that? Um, I knew I didn't want to get out. Oh, that's a body. Oh. What? Black spindle. It. A 
spindle of thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. It is much heavier than it looks, and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Okay, I'm not sure if you saw it, but there was like things attached to it that just disappeared. So, uh, there's something in this desert. <laughs> You're in the desert, so yeah. Not just me, dragon. Got him. So we definitely found the entity. We just don't know what it is. <laughs> Just gotta burn it. Yep. Burn it. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. Yeah, something bad is going to happen. You're gonna fucking die. Oh. What happened? Is this place about to go sky high? I don't know. Oh, okay. He's good. Please oh. take a level two mental test. Oh, we've got. Oh, what's this? Please select three pictures with a triangle. This well, is just. Why are we doing a capture? <laughs> well, there's that, that, and that. You are sane. Uh, I don't see a triangle in the other picture, so yes. I don't... Actually, there are two other. Wait, select the three pictures that calculation results are equal to five. Uh, <laughs> one plus five. one plus one. That's five. That's five. That the next uh, one's five. What? What? Five plus five is fifteen. 10, 15, 15 and, and then thirty. Yeah. Result correct. I'm still fourth. <laughs> I can do my ass. Yeah, because you took fucking forever. Hush. Commit murder. And as you can see, what? oh wait, we don't get dinner this time. <laughs> Why? Fuck it, we're going to sleep. See, hatchet, look, the bed. What the fuck? This seems needlessly expensive. That night, Are you in like a revolving room? Oh, wait. Data showed abnormal fluctuations. Yeah, I couldn't see triangles. Wait, what? Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that night. Get the dream reader. Oh, we do. Oh, what the fuck is this? An ocean? They're on the beach. You do not recognize the bodies in the water. Everyone, it's the beach episode. Oh. Finally. Oh no. Oh, no. no. Wait, is that a phone booth? <laughs> it's a phone booth doing way up there. <laughs> um, obviously oh, when someone needs to call someone. I duh. think we're I, I think we're actually, but secretly, this is actually Ghostwire Tokyo. Oh, no, wait. I feel like this is secretly what you're just taking place in Ohio. This is what Ohio looks significant like. Turning point. The start I'm fairly oh, sure it's not what Ohio looks like. I'm certain this is what Ohio looks like. Alright, we're about to learn more about the SCP. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer Jones from the Special Operations Spencer. Department of Site 21. Hello, Spencer. It's still unclear as to why D-503 needs to pick up all of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? Okay, oh, fuck. our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting, though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison so right to the amount produced by humans. However, it uh, still has right. the potential to become a significant problem in the future. 
By assigning these tasks to D503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? <sighs> okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Any oversight or underestimation of the enemy may result in disaster. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely Autobots a bad day, perhaps the worst, Did you uh -oh. even Autobots? for a death row inmate. Yeah. Huh? These gay little robots, those. Okay, also, so... Can, oh. Also, can we just get some pop chants over here for Carly's brother Spencer uh, coming out as train? Hush. <laughs> anyway, so it looks... Glad on her oh. It looks like all trash is made from humans. I, yeah. It said yeah, that it said that. D503 found a radar. I, mean, yeah, I feel like that's kind of complicated. Penguin. Handheld radar. Like actual humans or like However, it said D503 from humans. Is so. To think much of it. Okay, that can be many things. From the SDP universe it means it's just humans. Yeah. <laughs> and it said like over 300 people went missing. So, uh oh, this is definitely a body. A body. Yep. All right. Well, gotta move it to the incinerator. I mean, it is what we do to D class. I thought they stopped doing that to be class because it caused a whole different issue. Nah, I was joking. Oh, no. <laughs> Skirted tires, handheld radar, and black spindle. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. But then he encountered an incident. Uh oh. Uh... A sandstorm. Oh shit. D503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time. I guess fall to wire. Oh, there's a building. You were good. I don't like that red dot, though. Red dot is just a light. Oh, perhaps. What well, I feel like I'm gonna die as soon as I get to that building. You well, probably that, are. even though we've said it a few times, maybe we're all just assuming you'll die. I'm just oh, waiting for you to turn into a Jerry. Oh, come wow. on. <laughs> Oh, sh oh what shit. The? A site you weren't familiar with. Yeah, but listen, there's oh. voices. Uh, hi. Uh. Friend? I can't no. run. I can't Friend. run. 
Oh, it's a phone booth. I can only go. walk. You have to go talk to your friend in the phone booth. You said it's not a friend. Like a British person. Um, it says lie. You have to go tell your friend a lie. It tell says, him that you actually really like him. And it says five on the clock. So that's what this SCP is. The wires that burrow out of people? Or, well, burrow into people and make them into items. Maybe it's being controlled by the phone booth. Pick up the red phone. Oh. What is There's a boss in the Octo expansion that is dead ass. Uh... Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site-8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to do this. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, this is... Oh, Major oh, what the... Major fluctuations can now be observed in D-503's About to turn into a wire person. The results of the psychological Yummy. evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. Oh, damn. D503 was able to break away from the Foundation's control. He has seen the test results. Personnel were analyzed at SCP-7457. That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this desert. Yeah, well, I'm leaving. Prepare, Bright. You're about to be turned into even more of a piece of garbage. Oh. Cutscene time. Very poor. This poor the fuck is controlling that. I'm sure you're really big enough to Uh-oh. Return the slab. <laughs> Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. Alright, this all is... choices come from their own free will. This already looks like an interesting SCP I want to read. Because I feel like there's some things the game isn't going to be able to tell us about this SCP. This they already looks realize. interesting that we humans form only a small part of this world. This is probably obviously there, a Peter. In the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand in this vast desert. Or a Euclid. It's definitely not safe. <laughs> I mean, if it doesn't try to break out of containment, it could easily be safe. Well, they said yeah. every, every eight minutes they produce the human trash remains. Well, did they actually say that the trash is made out of people? They, yes, they it said like the, the property, the properties were made from human. 
<laughs> and holy shit. It is from a phone booth. Zadiko's been on some weird drugs lately. Um, so this is where the, the Octo expansion is from Super 2. Uh, sh... Uh, no. Um... This is an unmoved situation. I absolutely fucking love this. Jesus, were you eaten? Well, he's dead. You are now oh. wired. Oh, wait. Wait. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> dead. Yeah, so those were just... See, up, see, they, they, those were people. And your dumbass is all that guy found that time. <laughs> this is such an interesting SCP. Forty-eight days later, experiment participant D-722 found the radar that it belonged to D-503. The radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. Some can kill you, some may drive you crazy, and some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. Welcome to the that Foundation, like rookies. Some... I'm Dr. Raymond Hamm, like some... and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. That yes, feels like uh, that. That feels like some fairly bad advice, considering that I'm certain there are certain SCPs that you do not want to run from. Oh yeah. Yeah. One seven three, for instance. SCPs that you would get hurt by if you tried yeah. to run from them. Yeah, literally the first SCP ever made. You do not want to try to run from it because it will kill you. Yeah. Training course has ended. Please add your comments. Oh, we get to judge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really feel anything. That's the only supplements I can add and submit. The course is ranked. But you can't. Wait, there's no other things to put in there? No. Oh, wait. Good, it helped me. I only saw. 
I'm just gonna right. put five stars to everything and said I don't really feel anything. <laughs> Wait, but why? Because it feels really weird as hell. <laughs> Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> <laughs> that was useless feedback. Hiya, Carl. How did it feel? Anyone gonna ask for I can use a few? <laughs> this game, I, I already love it. Send aspirin via computer. To be honest, I kind of almost want to replace the Tokyo game with this. If it, because I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought I would just do a few SCP stories and that'll be it. I didn't expect all of this. This is awesome. Yeah, this is awesome so far. Like, well put together. I love it. It has a, it has a lot of charm. How how long is it? The demo took an hour, so... We've already been here for more than an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and that was just one SCP. There's yeah. apparently 610 and 049 is supposed to be in it, too. So... To be honest, I feel a little uncomfortable. We'll go with that. Hey, buddy, don't throw up on the floor. <laughs> Stop messing with them, Stuart. Carl, that was only the beginning. You gotta learn to get used to it. Live with it. Got it. And. <laughs> Everyone here wants to teach you something, Carl. Live with it. Come on, Stuart. Thank you. I feel much better. In any case, you're welcome to join us, Carl. Smiley face. Oh. Past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during training session. I jumped off a cliff. I fell in ice or water and choked hard. I don't even recall this because I have no memory of visiting any coastal waterfalls. But it was so real. I can even taste it in my mouth and taste river water. But in any case, this is my first day at the foundation. I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe that'll make my stomach feel better. Oh, this is 2012. August 13th, 2012. Why are they still using CRT monitor having computers in 2012? I don't know. The CRT SCP Foundation has to have better funding <laughs> to get better shit. 